Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this year's federal tax filing deadline is delayed until July 15th. Here to answer all of our tax-related questions is personal finance expert Farnoosh Tarabi. Farnoosh, thanks for being with us. So 39 million Americans nearly have filed for unemployment since the COVID-19 pandemic began. The question a lot of them are asking, how can they avoid a big tax bill next year? Right, this is important. And Amy, my advice to everybody is if you are on unemployment, make sure that to the best of your ability, you're automatically paying taxes to the federal government and potentially to your state if your state is collecting unemployment taxes. The way that you do this is you, if you're applying for unemployment right now, you check off the box when you fill it out on your state's uh, website when you're applying for unemployment to have your taxes automatically withheld. This means it will never hit your checking account. If you've already started to receive unemployment and you are, are getting the full payment and the taxes are not being withheld right now, you can fill out form W4V, W4V, go online to the IRS website, fill that out. That is basically your formal request to have your taxes withheld. It's about 10% federal and then every state has its own rules. There are about 15 states though that do, do not collect unemployment tax. So if you're in Florida, New Jersey, California, Alabama, um, 15 state so that's good uh, but you will have to owe federal taxes if you do not do this if you don't at least do the automatic withholding or you don't pay quarterly estimated quarterly and you wait until next year you will not only owe the full tax bill but also penalties and interest and you want to avoid that to the best of your ability so the best option is automatic withholdings option number two that's pretty good is also paying quarterly so by july 15th pay an estimated amount of taxes to the irs and your state by that deadline and you should be in good in good standing yeah then you avoid that big hit uh at the end all yeah. right so you also say this year's stimulus checks have unfortunately led to some issues with scammers what do we need to know Right. So there's a lot of confusion around the stimulus check. Am I going to get taxed on this? The answer is no. Uh, will I have to pay back some of it because there was I was paid too much? Uh, the answer is also no. But there are scammers out there that are taking advantage of all this confusion and leveraging this and uh, contacting people by text, email, phone, and saying, hey, you have to pay back some of this stimulus, or maybe even sending people fake stimulus checks in the mail. And in order to activate it, you have to call and give personal identifying information. Just know that this. The IRS officially does not communicate with us over text, over phone, over email. It's usually through the mail and it's it's official mail. And if you want to communicate with the IRS directly, you can go to their dedicated coronavirus uh, site, which is irs.gov slash coronavirus. Now, that's very, very important to know. Also, how about some tips for those of us who've punted to July 15th on how best to file our taxes this year? Well, you know, file on time. If you think you owe taxes, pay that. Um, and take advantage of this extra time to really get organized with your finances. If there were um, opportunities to say also invest in your 401k and your IRA, if you're able to do that, um, know that you have a little bit extra time to bulk up those savings accounts for your retirement. Um, normally we have until April 15th to contribute the max to our 401k and our IRAs, but now you have until July 15th. So if you want to get that um, extra boost to your retirement account, but also the tax deduction, uh, because those contributions are tax deductible. Know that you have this extra time to do that. And if you're in a position to do that, I would. All right. Good advice. As always, Farnoosh Tarabi, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Sure thing. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.